Last time, as I'm sure you remember, we finished the Deku Tree, and now we're, we will be moving on to the next dungeon, which will be the Forgotten Land, and the monument's this way too. Alright. Huh, weird that it gives no area length. Okay. Well, let's check it out, nonetheless, and see what we can find. Certainly looks a little more pleasant than that oppressive tree, but we'll see. Okay, what have we got here? The majority of teleports on this map will teleport all players instead of just one due to redstone game rule reasons. I suggest you try this together. That doesn't affect us because I'm playing on my own, as hopefully you all have noticed by now. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, so we have permanent speed three. Hmm. Huh, nothing threatening there. Let's keep looking. Our, our hunger doesn't seem to be going down either. Is this like a safe area then, maybe? What's this? Huh. Okay, let me get my way to the top. Saw a building looking thing over. Aha. This is a pretty big area. What's this? Oh, this is the monument. Okay. So I suppose we'll get the wolves we have and drop them off there. What is this, though? Okay. The home base or the chambers of valor. Interesting. So I had read up on this map a bit and I had learned that there is kind of a customizable base, so I guess that's this is that. So maybe we'll figure out more as we go. I guess we might as well make use of this place. Um, if I want to organize this, let's put some pickaxes away. Hold on to that one. Put the other tools here, why not? <coughs> and see there's chests for weapons though. So I will not be using that. Coal and torches. I think I'll hold on to those. Uh, I guess I'll just put blocks here. Oops. Keep my wood there and that brown stain clay I got last time. Potions. Let's hold on to that for now. Food. Um, I guess we'll call rotten flesh food. I mean, you never know. Maybe if I'm really desperate at some point. Chest plates. I was meaning to say, I found a chest after I finished recording the last episode with this helmet. Protection 2, Aquafinity 2, Respiration 2, and this sword, Bane of Arthropods 3. So we'll probably use those at some point. Let's put stone swords here, bows here. Um, let's see, what else have we got to deposit? Mob drops. Alright. Well, that's where that all is going. We can access our ender chest from here. We'll take all of this out and sort it out in a minute. Um, still no. I suppose I'll put the uh, book in there, the looting book. Let's see, we don't have any new pickaxes. Any, nope. Any blocks here? I suppose I'll house the TNT in here for now. Let's see, what's that? Oh yeah. Uh, potions, let's put the swiftness and regen. Food. We've got more apples and we've got those golden apples. Nice. Okay. Armor. Let's do put away what we have. Alright. As of now this arrangement will work since we don't have that much armor yet. And weapons. Not really anything new to add to there. I'm gonna hold on to these and figure out what to do with them in a minute. Not sure where I want to put this though. I guess I'll put flint and with the mob drop stuff for now. And I guess I guess put the clock there too. I don't really think there's much use for a clock. Did I get everything? Yeah. Seems kind of pointless. What is this? This is a teleportation chamber. What is this? Tree farms. Okay, what's this? Disco dance floor. And we have 
I guess so this plays all the different music in the game. That's cool. It's pretty cool. Um block farm. I don't know what it means by block farm. Let's check all these out. Um ooh, okay, so multiple levels to this. Blocks A, bunch of different die. Oh, it's literally just a bunch of blocks. Okay. Well, I suppose that could be useful if we just need some blocks at some point to carry around, or we need more stone, or... I don't really see any wood, though, so... But, actually, there's a tree farm that we saw, so... I suppose wood wouldn't be that helpful. And... I don't like how dark all of this is. Place a torch. Blocks B. So maybe you have to unlock other floors somehow. Maybe that's what it meant when I read that it was a customizable base. Okay... What's this? Ore mine. That could be useful. If we could get some iron or something better even, that'd be really nice. To bounce a bit so we don't take too much damage here. Okay. And what have we got here? That's the exit. Cave 1. I wonder if any of these are unlocked or if we'll have to go unlock all of them at some point. No, I guess it's unlocked. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so we do have coal. We have some iron here. I'll get this. <laughs> Just two. Well, there may be some others. If not, at least we don't have to worry much about torches anymore. At least not for a very long time. And that alone is pretty useful. So I guess that's all we have here in Cave 1. Let's see if Cave 2 is also unlocked. What's this? Cave 2. And just like the last one there. Okay, no. Interesting. I like these steps. Kind of cool. So let's keep... I guess we'll go back to the main base and see what there is to see. Okay, um, enchanting, would it be probably potions, yeah, potions, okay, uh, okay, let's check out the tree farm, let's see what we have here, alright, it's your basic trees, so maybe we unlock the materials for different types of trees as we go, okay, so we do have oak, said did you find all six saplings so maybe there's the potential to get all the others don't know if you all can hear the thunder in the background but it's storming here so sorry if that makes a little bit of noise but nothing I can do about that okay chambers of valor so I think that's where we put these terror restores let's check it out okay the Restoration Chamber. That looks promising. And is this actually another one? Oh, so it is. Okay, well, that's cool. So what do we do? Okay, teleport to structure. I wonder what that means. Niles House. Okay. Do we throw it in there? Okay, a new structure has been restored to the lands. Okay, well, let's check it out, because, oh, was, was this here before? I don't know. So maybe this brings, not sleep or set spawn any beds in the monument area. Okay, yeah, we don't want monsters, so let's not do that. Some cooked salmon. Interesting, so maybe we'll just find all of these different terrorist stores and they'll unlock places like this. Is this? Oh wow! Well, that certainly will provide us with fish if we ever get hungry. That's pretty useful, actually. Okay, let's head back. Let's and do the other one. See what we get from that. I think it's this way. There's that speed kicking in. Nice. 
I wonder if it works like a beacon in regular Minecraft. And maybe we were out of range, so it wasn't working yet. Do I have the wool? Yeah. Might as well, since we're right here. Okay. So we have the white wool. And the orange wool. Okay. So we obviously have a lot to do. But we're off to a fair start. Okay, and what's... Oh, that takes us directly to the Chamber of Valor. Nice. What are these? Recipe Chamber. I don't think we have any recipes. Base upgrades. Let's see how we do this. So, I don't really care too much about the music. Blocks, we don't really need. Ores would be helpful. Potions. Enchanting. Let's see what we would have to do to get enchanting. So we have to get an enchanting table to unlock enchanting? It seems like a bit of a waste, because it seems like if you have an enchanting table, you don't exactly need uh, anything else. But maybe it supplies you with bookshelves or something. Ooh, food. I mean, it seems like they're throwing ways to get food at us, but... Carrot... Oh, do we have farms already for carrots and melons? It looks like we do. Mushroom... Wheat... Essence of Sunshine... I don't know what that is. Maybe it's... I don't know. I'm sure we'll come upon some later. So maybe the rest of these need stuff like that too. That's okay. We'll have it eventually. So, oh, and it lights up when you do it. Nice. So let's put in our second... Terra Restore. And... There we go. Let's wait for it to process. The son of the tree of yours shall be brought back to life once more. Slowly but surely over time, it will grow into a magnificent tree which will watch over the lands and protect it from evil. That's pretty cool. Oh, is this the tree? Alright, what is this? Undead repellent scythe. Smite four, knock back two, unbreaking five. We might actually use that in one of the next videos as our weapon. Because that's a really good weapon, actually. We can certainly make use of that. So where did we end up relative to... There we are, okay. And the last one was over there, I think, somewhere. Okay. Well... It looks like that's what we can do here. So I suppose that I will go back and get the rest of my stuff off camera. And actually, what's this? Bedroom. Oh, to set your spawn. Okay, that's kind of cool. Because they said not sleep in the beds makes sense. Uh, okay, where? Oh yeah. Um, I guess I'll get my stuff off camera and come back here in the next episode and then we will tackle the KO or Cheo or Kayo Mines, however you want to say it. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!